Some interesting news. The final demand PPI, which is what companies get for their products, down half a percent during the month of July, and that pushes the year-over-year -year rate down from 11.3 to 9.8 percent. That is uh, kind of kind of interesting. Uh, the X Food and Energy, um, sort of the traditional core, is up only two tenths. The forecast was for four tenths. That was what we saw last month. And uh, X Food, Energy, and Trade up two tenths. That was forecast to be up four tenths. Right. So the annual rates for uh, the core rate seven. 7.6 down from 8.2 and uh, well, energy food and trade 5.8 down from 6.4 is this a mirror we, image of what we saw yesterday uh well not a mirror image which would imply reversed but this is a, a, a an image that matches kind of what we saw yesterday um, the initial jobless claims uh, by the way, last week revised down from 260 to 248. So this number is telling us that the labor market is stronger than even we thought and is not necessarily getting worse, which some people were worried about. And inflation pressures have started to ease. Uh, looking at the overall producer price numbers, um, looks like a 9% drop in energy uh, is what is responsible for that uh, uh, half a percent drop in final demand goods, which is not going to surprise anybody. Um, but the index for food and for final demand goods, less food, right. rose 1%. Uh, so we're still seeing some food inflation.